These are the measurements we'll be taking today. The basic top measurement. We have the back, then we have different measurements under the length and the circumference section. You see that in the video we are measuring. So take note of this. I, I would really love to see your own measurements in this form or someone's measurement. Maybe your daughter, your sister, or somebody in your house, somebody. I want to see the measurements. So let's try and submit that. So we'll be taking the top measurement and the top stops just before the hip. The hip is the widest part of the bone. So you are just going to stop before the hip. So the first things we'll do are to take the back measurement. So turn, remove the hair so that I'll show you properly how to take the back measurement. So you can take note of the joining of the shoulders and your back. shows you where that circumference measurement will be. So the next measurement is our on the bust, on the bust and it is 12 and you do the same thing. You take the circumference measurement, you take it round uh, on the bust and the bust is just under the bust. You take that measurement and you take it reasonably tight and remember just one finger inside your tail. Try to make it one finger in your tail. By the time you are around the person, one finger holding like this. One finger is inside the tape. 
so that that serves as an ease for the person. So the next one is another length measurement, which is the half length. The half length is like most times about um, two or three inches above your navel. So you can take note of that above your navel, two or three inches. Or some people that that have a very defined waist. You see where the waist comes in. That is natural waist or your half length. So that is you take that length. When you take the length, you also measure round it. Remember, one finger in the tape. Then you take the waist measurement also. The waist measurement is the navel. Because of what she's wearing, step back in. Or you can know that okay, the navel is here. And if the person is wearing something that is too vocal, it will add to your measurement. So you could always wear something that is fitted enough so that you to get the right measurement. Okay, so when you take that, you also measure it around. Remember, you first take the length, then you take the second length. Now the next thing will be the top hip, or you could call it the top length. Depends on where the person wants that top to be, because we are focusing on top for this one. So, has you can try this when I put your hands on your okay? So, we look at just above, step back. part of our hip is still below and we are not going that far we just want both the hip a little bit here so this is what we are using so we take this 21 and we fold the front to be sure that if we have the same measurement in front and we check the 21 yes the 21 still works perfectly for the front because some people their back measurement may be different from their front measurement so you have to take it on the front so now the measurements for the back so the back of the top you have also your half length you take note of where that half length was in the front and either you tie a, well, you wear a belt or tie something there to identify that okay this is still the uh, half length or the natural waist so I don't need to wear her in belt because what she has on is exactly on a half length. So I'm just going to use that to measure where the back length is going to be. 14. Please take note, the back length that she has here is 14. Now let's check the front. Let me show you why you always have to measure the back length. So when you come here, a half length is 15. For some people, the difference is even more. So for you to get that accurate fit, even if you are using freehand, you must still measure your back length. Okay, then depends on the style, you can also give the neck thickness. So you could get the neck thickness. If the person wants it to be very big, very deep, get the neck deepness. Okay, then another thing that determines your neck wideness by the time you want to you want to decide what kind of neck style you want to style like, you can just take you can measure from your back. The, 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 the point where your arm joins your back, measure from there to wherever the person wants the neck to be as wide to be to get to. Okay, so if the person likes this, uh, the wideness of this neck, we just measure the neck to where the back is. And you see that it is two inches. And you know, on your pattern, you measure from where the back stops to that two inches. Now, front width, we also have front width, sleeve width, and back width. Now, these measurements will take it together. If not, you get the wrong measurement. You can feel where the person's bra hand is, where the hand of the bra is. So you take from that point to the next bra. In front, you have 10 inches. You take from that point, you turn the sleeve. Do not go up, don't go up. Still at the side to where the bra uh, uh, strap is also. You have nine. From that point, you take the tip of your tape again to that uh, uh, strap to get the back width to the next bra strap we have 12 inches okay so you take it like you are, you are turning the person in 360 from one bra strap to the other bra strap from that bra strap to the next bra strap to the next bra strap then you get the full measurement now notice that we, we, we measure here you can also check the length of that place from this tip of your shoulder where your shoulder and your arm joint you take that measurement step to know where you measure that front width and back width. Okay? 
okay so that's the length and this is like the circumference of that measure the next thing we'll move into is our sleeves okay so the sleeves remember where you were measuring your back where your back and your arm meet so that's where it starts the sleeve measurement again now your sleeves it depends on the style so you could get the short sleeve of six you could get the short sleeve of eight you could get it to the quarter of 15 you could get your uh, your long sleeve here now we have uh, 22 so remember measure the length first of whatever uh, place you want the sleeve to get to then you measure the circumference or the band but still call it band so if you have uh, six inches here we to measure the band which is the circumference of that six inches we take our tape under the arm also and we do this remember one finger inside your tape we have nine you take we go to the next measurement if you have to if it's going to be a three quarter measurement of 15 you go round that 15 again now notice for the long sleeve you must take note that for the long sleeve you do not measure the wrist so you do not measure the wrist you measure the widest part of the uh, palm so you tell the person to fold um, the thumb inside the palm like this so when you do that you measure that wide part because when you are wearing your long sleeve you put your hands inside like this so this is the wide part and you all have to measure that so that will be all so you could join the discussion group to ask the question because questions cannot be taken on the channel so join the discussion group and ask your questions